Hi, I'm Brian Nagley. I'm with Motorsportsland RV, and today we're going to do a walk around on a 2013 Newmar 2702. A couple first things you're going to notice up here at the front end of the uh, unit. First of all, is the large oversized windshield. Nice thing with the windshield, there's no center divider allowing full uh, visibility out of the front windshield. It's a uh, solid one piece glass. Gives you better visibility as you're going down the road. A couple nice things up here on the front of the coach. This is actually their premier package. So it does have some uh, BSF paint on it. This front portion in the black that you're seeing is BSF paint. Also gives you a nice film, uh, kind of a clear bra on the front of the entire unit to actually protect the front of the unit as you're going down the road. As we move around to the side, first of all, I'm gonna explain some of the chassis to this. It sits on an 18,000 pound Ford chassis, as well as it does have the Ford V10 motor in it. Nice thing with the V10 motor, it's 362 horsepower pushing out 472 foot lay pounds of torque on the unit itself. As we move around to the side, uh, the Base Star Sport actually does have 20 and a half inch tires underneath it. Nice heavy duty tires, gives the unit a great little ride and everything to it as well. This is a full wall slide unit. Notice the full wall slide does run all the way down the entire length of the off door side with the exception of the back of the vehicle. As you come around to the back, full slam baggage slash stores all the way around. Nice rotocast and lit storage compartments in here. Seamless, nice allowing you to uh, store your stuff up and away out of the elements. A couple things on the uh, bottom of the Newmark coach as well. They are a completely sealed and powder coated frame. The nice thing with the uh, sealed underbelly, it keeps any road debris or any water from splashing up onto the unit. And when they powder coat the uh, undercarriage, it also uh, prevents any rusting or anything like that as you do go down the roads. As we move around to our back storage compartment, this is an actual pass-through storage compartment that is lit. It passes through all the entire back end of the coach. It does have a small raised well piece, but actually does have storage all the way across for you to get uh, storing any of your camping gear as you go down the road. One of the things I do want to point out to you on our uh, base Star Sport, nice thing about this, this is an entry-level RV uh, set up for the family that wants to get into motorhome camping uh, without the big expensive price of the uh, higher end uh, gas or diesel pusher motorhomes. Full slide out topper on our slide out, nice thing with the slide out topper, it does protect the slide out from any debris, snow, rain, or even the sun beating down onto the top of the slide out to uh, cause any wear on your sills. As we move around to the back end of the unit, full fiberglass rear cap, the nice thing with the fiberglass rear cap. It's gonna protect the coach for longevity of time. It is a high gloss gel coat finish on the unit, as well as you have a full backup camera and roof ladder access off to the side of the unit as well. Backup camera is nice to allow you to back into your camping stalls and that, and the ladder does that allow you access to the roof. Unit's equipped with a uh, class three receiver hitch and does have 5,000 pounds of towing capacity to the unit as well. It is also set up with a seven way plug. So if you are towing something that does require electric brakes and everything it is already set up and you can add a brake control at any time to the unit. As we move around to the uh, door side of the coach, bedroom slide here, as well as it does have again, a slide out topper on top of it. Again, the slide out topper protects protection from the sun and debris. Uh, wet rain and snow if it does get uh, into that uh, area. Slime bag is last store. Again, this is the other side of that pass through storage across the back of the coach as well. Our base star is equipped with a 4,000 watt owning generator standard on the unit. Uh, nice thing about the owning generator is a quiet run generator. It is a gas generator, pulls directly off the fuel cell of the coach, allowing you to run anything inside the coach that is electrical. As we move a little bit further up into the unit, we do have some more storage through here. Again, they are all lit. As well as you do have easy access to your fresh water tank, your inverter or anything that you do need to get to uh, if anything does break down on the coach. Uh, uh, all the slam baggage last stores are lockable as well. As we move around to the front end of the coach as well, 30 inch radius door with two entry steps into the coach. The nice things with the entry steps being two, they do sit very low to the ground. They're automatic, so when you do close the door, they go in. Uh, when you open the door, they come back out, allowing easy access and drivability as you go down the road. 
Let's go inside and take a couple of features inside. As you enter our uh, 2702, as you start looking around the coach, uh, first thing you're going to notice is the solid wood cabinetry throughout. This is one of two colors available for the uh, 2013 uh, Numars. This is a Sienna Maple. The other color would be a darker color, which is called an Empire Maple. As you look at our furniture and our cockpit area, a couple of really nice things that I'm first going to point out is this is leather furniture and it's also a flex steel uh, construction. This is a full height of bed up here in the front, as well as you got your dinette booth in the, in the slide out. Uh, the dinette booth will seat full four full size adults, as well as the table is fixed mounted to the wall with a gas strut. Does slide up and down to make into a small bed for a child or an infant. As we move into our cockpit area of our coach, again, built on the Ford chassis. It is an 18,000 pound chassis. As you sit in here in the driver's seat, the nice thing with this coach, again, full size windshield, no divider bar in the center, allowing great visibility as you go down the road. Overhead storage, as well as dual fans that do, uh, do circulate the air up here into the front. You do have dual windows on the side. The nice thing with the windows on the sides, you actually have side visibility out of the coach as well. And both windows do open. As well as your back, um, so when you're in the cockpit area of the coach, you do have a backup camera monitor system. It all comes up right here into your actual touchscreen stereo setup. Nice thing with the touch screen, it does have volume and everything back on the uh, camera so it allows you to know uh, when somebody's talking to you through the uh, camera telling you when you're backing up as well. Dash, air and heat as well as a full stereo system up here. Cockpit is also uh, equipped with a 32 inch television, fixed mounted right above the uh, drivers and passengers head. Nice thing about that, it's visible from the entire uh, setup of the coach. Uh, passenger and driver's chair, they are not powered, but they do rotate. The nice thing with having the rotating chair is when you are uh, set up into your camp spot, the passenger driver's side chairs can actually rotate back into your uh, area so you can actually converse with any of the uh, people that you do have in the coach with you as well as for entertainment purposes or when you just want some place to lounge. They do lock back into position very easily. As we move over into our food pantry area and our kitchen, a couple really nice things in our setup here. We do have a six, uh, six cubic foot refrigerator with separated freezer above. The nice thing with this, this is a three way uh, setup fridge. It is gas, uh, electric, or automatic. So uh, for uh, dry weather camping and stuff or just boondocking it out in the middle of the woods, you can run this off of your generator or your propane. Propane on the unit is also 25 gallons, so it does have a large propane set up into the unit, uh, giving you uh, many, many days of uh, camping if you need your gas for your furnace or anything. Hidden gas strut uh, hinges on the uh, actual uh, cabinetry here. The nice thing about that is it actually keeps it in a position so you don't have to hold it. It locks it in a position and it's a nice deep cabinet storage. As you move further around into the kitchen, it does have a microwave, three burner top stove, as well as in a full oven underneath. A nice thing about that, it gives you uh, plenty of uh, options for cooking, as well as you have your vent fan to exhaust any fumes outside the coach. Good counter space into the unit as well. You got nice good counter space, stainless steel sink, and more cabinetry storage here as well, as well as you got cabinetry storage above the sink with adjustable shelving. So you can adjust yourself up and down to uh, fit bigger boxes or paper, uh, uh, plates, cups, or anything that you need to install in there. As we move around to the back side of our uh, coach, when you enter the, the bathroom, this does have a fairly large bathroom in the unit. Uh, nice thing with the bathroom, it does have a 36 inch radius corner shower in here with glass doors that do lock and open as they slide across. Full skylight into the shower as well. Nice big shower so you can actually move around into it. Does have storage above the toilet as well as storage underneath the bathroom sink. You also have a full medicine cabinet up above. Porcelain head with foot flush in the bathroom as well. Makes it, it gives you a nice residential style feel. As we move into the back of our base star sport, you're going to notice we do have a queen bed here with laminated uh, nightstands on both sides as well as cross ventilation windows into the side of the unit. Nice thing with that, you open up your windows, you get some cross ventilation, some airflow, 
across the back side of the unit uh, allowing that. Under our bed, we do have some storage underneath our bed for anything that like bed uh, blankets, pillows, sheets, anything that you do need to store into the unit that uh, kind of are bulky and take up a lot of room. Overhead storage above our bed. Nice and deep cabinets. Again, gas hidden struts on both of them. They both do open and they're very deep. So again, for more storage back here in the bedroom area. As we move over to the off door side of the coach, we do have two closet wards, nice, nice and large closet wards that allow you to hang up any of your hangable clothing. You do have three uh, chest of drawers across here as well. There are full extension drawer guys. They do slide out all the way out nice and deep in here. So you can actually put a lot of clothing into it as well. Back here in the back, we do have a 24 inch TV. The nice thing with the 24 inch TV, it does come with the sound bar. It is a Sony setup TV as well, allowing you a nice place to watch TV back here in the back bedroom. If you're not watching it up in the front of the coach. As you look at our floor in our unit, the nice thing with our floor, this is a premium linoleum in here. It gives you the tile fill, not just some kind of zigzag pattern, but a nice tiled squared up uh, linoleum that sits in here, giving the coach a nice premium look to it as well. In our, above our couch, we do have storage above our couch. It is again, hidden gas struts under here, nice and deep, allowing you to put any kind of uh, loose material that you do take camping with you so you can actually put it in a nice storage position over here. Unit does have a 13.5 BTU watt AC unit on it with the 13.5 BTU watt AC unit on it. It is residential ducted uh, throughout the entire roof using a tin ducting, allowing mass airflow up forward and aft, uh, allowing nice cooling into the coach itself. That is our 2702 Base Star 2013 built by Newmar. To see any more of our product, look at, you can find us at motorsportsland.com or come down and talk to one of our motorhome sales professionals. Thank you.